I was going to use my phone for this video because I'm still in bed, but I didn't want to upload it right away because when I use my when I use the phone, I upload as soon as I get home, and then I I have other work I'm doing. I've been in bed. Um, is this working? Yeah. Okay. Just checking if it's working. That's the thing I can't see. <laughs> when I, what I, if the if the camera's still on? Um, so uh, apparently there were haters uh, for the new face group book group that I put together, or a hater. The moderator of the other Facebook group that helped me out a bit. Um, yeah, she told me, but I didn't notice it on the group. She didn't, so I asked who, who was the hater? What was the hater? Where are the haters? Because I didn't see it. So that being said, I had to close the group, make the group a closed group as opposed to an open group. It's it's got thirty one people on it right now. Because every morning and every evening, I will contact five or six people on uh, another group. And I will also contact five or six people in my Instagram to go on to it. Now, yesterday, um, someone asked me where I got her contact from. And I told her which group. And she said, okay. So... That's the only thing different. So... That's that. I mean... I didn't think too much of it. Well, I asked where the haters were from because I, it, it didn't occur to me that there was any haters. And this group, Take Back Your Life MTL, on Facebook, it seems to be different than the other groups. I mean, I have quotes that I use from the Instagram that I um, curate. I also have a lot of videos that I watch. When I watch videos on self-help, on narcissism, on Carl Jung now, um, which I'm only starting to learn. I don't even know I'm learning. I'm just being interested. Um, I post them. So it's like, it's an extension of what I'm doing throughout the day. What I have playing in the background. So it's like the whole Facebook is just stuff that I curate. And if I do some videos... I don't, I don't put all of them on there, but like one or two, I put one up yesterday. I just kind of uh, sprinkle it on there. So it's different than <clears throat> the other videos. Like there's not as many people talking. And there's one, there's one girl who came onto my video and she's um, onto my Facebook. And she's going through it right now, no contact. And... So the the page that I got it, her contact from, her contact info, she vents on there, and then I think maybe she just uses, I think people are just going to use the Facebook to kind of watch the videos and learn, you know, less interaction in that respect, which is fine, because that's kind of how I set it up, and it seems to be different than the other Facebook so, it's different. That's what I'm trying to say. I really need to drink more. My head is hurting. The dehydration. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it didn't occur to me that there'd be haters. And, um, I, it didn't, I, I didn't know what to think really. It's like when something happens like that, I don't know how to process information when someone tells me something. You know what I mean? It takes me a while before my really real feelings come up. I, I, I learned this. I learned this when I was 
uh, in my little stint of the relationship therapist course that I was taking, if you've been following me for a while, where you have to work on yourself for the first year, but you're to become a relationship therapist. And that's not what I wanted to do, so I stopped that. But, I, you know, when I'm vulnerable and someone says something, it takes a while before it hits me the wrong way. You know? I I think that might be like a borderline type thing. Like, you don't know your feelings. Your, your feelings are dysregulated. And you don't have a, a sense of identity. So... Um, that's kind of it. So I didn't know how to process it until somewhat afterwards, a couple of minutes afterwards. Um, sometimes it could be half a day afterwards. Um, so I'm like thinking, well, the girl who told me, the woman who told me, I don't think she'd have any ill for me, she's, you know, and why would other people have ill for it, I guess, maybe a jealousy, I don't know, you know, just trying to do what I'm trying to do, and if they decide to kick me out of the group in which I'm getting contacts, I'll have to go back, go on to my Instagram, worst case, which I am doing, but also, I guess, join other groups and try to do it. Like, I guess this would be something that would stop people, but... Um, I'm not the only one who, who has to go through this. You know, it's not something that comes easy, I guess, to build something up because you're going to get a lot of uh, spokes in the in the tire type thing. So, or spokes in your wheel. <clears throat> so, I don't know. It, I get, I, I'm guessing it does bother me. It hasn't affected what I do yet. I haven't been shut out or whatever. But... It's difficult to face that, you know? Um, of course, you don't want to... F you want things to be smooth most of the time. But also, I don't see any other way of... I don't see any other way, you know, to build a Facebook. I'm just babbling now. <laughs> Falling asleep. Alright.